this Yahoo answer, thank you, by the way, everybody who sent in Yahoo answers. Uh, this Yahoo answer was sent in by Julie Kin. Thank you, Julie. It's by Yahoo Answers user Jamie I Jamie L Jesus. Mm -hmm. Ricky Jamie Oliver. Oliver. Jamie Ricky Jimmy Ola. Jamie Lewis. Jamie Lewis. Jamie Lewis. Shameless. Jamie Lewis who asks how to cheaply catch a thief. Cheaply. <laughs> Need some clever ideas about how to catch someone stealing from a walk-in cupboard. Only person going in there for this would be the thief, but pretty sure traps are illegal. Need something cheap as we're poor. Lol. Thanks. Hold on. Okay, wait. Hold on. I don't understand the parameters of this question. Are you though. telling me you have a cupboard that exists solely to be burgled? <laughs> Is that <laughs> what you're telling me? have a walk-in cupboard, but no one walks in except the thief. It seems like the best trap then would be to watch and see who walks in. I think this person thief. is saying this cupboard has, has been so thoroughly burgled. <laughs> That they are willing to change it into a fucking reverse panic room. Uh, That's that what, is just burglable. <laughs> if you think about it. <laughs> this room is just full of chalices. If you think about it, prisons are all reverse panic rooms. Because it just puts the danger inside and then everything right. else is safe. Um, that is what this person is talking about. They're, they're pulling a reverse Jodie Foster. Which is also I mean, my favorite sexual position. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we played enough uh, like Sega CD FMV games that we should be able to answer this question. I think there needs to be a lever on the wall that you pull and the floor drops out. What? Or, Sega CD FMV it. games are you talking about other than Night Trap? He's talking about Double Switch oh, also. Right. So, Wasn't there one called Maniac Mansion too? Maniac Mansion was no. something completely different. Ah, that, that was a, an adventure game. Ah, but okay. anyway. Anyway, lots of, uh, lots of great references. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so keep your Sega CD in there, and then if you notice it's missing. The only person you're going to catch in that fucking honeypot is Justin McElroy. <laughs> Oops, Daisy. Where is this cupboard, by the way? The imaginary cupboard I invented. Um, <laughs> Gotta get over there. This person is probably right in that traps are, are they are illegal, right? They're not, like, you watch Home Alone, and everyone has a good time and a good laugh. They get hit with a paint bucket. They get electrocuted with an amount of voltage that would kill a fucking elephant um and we all have a good time and we all have a good laugh that's but that mm -hmm. shit that that little kid pulls is like wicked illegal right i mean the thing about the well, thing hold about, on you think the sticky bandits are gonna like take him to court and be like i'm saying I, the I've sticky bandits serious would have, trauma i think the sticky bandits would have a fucking great case against that kid yeah absolutely they I set mean, his head on fire <laughs> Now here's but the they thing were going about in it, to though. kill him. No, 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 no. Okay, it depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about Home Alone One, I think uh -huh. the the people versus Kevin McAllister mm -hmm. is going to be very weak because Kevin is <laughs> Kevin. Now, Justin, I I hate to interrupt, but I think you mean the Wet Bandits versus Kevin McAllister because I don't think the people of the city have There's banded be together a, to support. Would, no, Jeff no, no they're going to be a criminal there. criminal trial first, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and then and then take it to the, uh, the Ninth Circuit then Court then of Appeals. Appeals. Okay, yeah. So anyway, in Home Alone One. People versus Kevin McAllister is going to be very weak because Kevin McAllister was defending his home, and absolutely the 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 impetus I think is on him to defend that in any way he sees fit. He could have killed them. Oh, you're he saying you're saying there's a, a there's a <laughs> Chicago, as we all know, uh, the the castle doctrine is very much in play in Illinois. Yeah, so absolutely. He he can, so, he, can, he has unlimited power, unlimited lethal power. Problematically, though, in Home Alone 2, mm -hmm. your case, if you're Kevin McAllister, right. is going to get very weak because you have sadistically, I would say, lured these men into your trap uh, of hurting. And, right. and just to defend a toy store, pretty much. He could have called Lamp up in that hotel, had Tim Curry bringing him waffles. Now, it's been a while since I saw the movie, but isn't his final uh, trap house isn't that like his uncle's house or it's a relative's house of some sort right and that's how he's it is his in. it's his uncle's house Here, it, that's what's fucked up is that it's his uncle's house uh, like they are they're rebuilding it they're remodeling it so if mm -hmm. those fucking guys hadn't come that night there would have been a, a score of contractors who would have like perished at this little kid's hands <laughs> right there is almost certainly more trap like there's no way he hit them all those contractors are going in the next morning oh, like dude, there's why is this why is this knob sticky ah electricity <laughs> <laughs> i wish that that whole the whole second movie was just spent with daniel stern and joe pashi screaming what are the odds 
Yeah. How could this happen again? <laughs> Twice? Twice? Really? Is anything... We, we went to, like, the biggest city in America. Are you we also... the same 10-year-old. Are you also telling me that, like, job one, once you get out of prison, prison for being the wet bandits, job one isn't listen... We've got to start carrying guns. We just have to buy a gun and use it on a child. <laughs> if we see a child and he's got a trap, we just got to shoot him. Shoot the child. I know it's hard. Many of the traps are automated, I'm sure, but most of them are being deployed by the child on us. And if the child is dead, we have nothing to fear. We don't even have to pursue him anymore. We just move on. We don't even have to worry about fucking Brenda Fricker launching palm after palm of bird feet at us. To attack us with her <laughs> army of birds. <laughs> She's like, Tay, fly my children at bam bam. Oh, oh no. You know, we give him a lot of we give him a lot of credit for being sort of a master strategist. But if your end game relies on the possibility that an old woman is gonna throw seeds at your assailants, yeah. you do not have a strong plan. No. You know, you've actually just made me realize in both movies. He would be dead yeah. if it were not for the creepy old people for that he elderly intervention. Along the way. Yeah. Yeah. No question about oh, it. Oh wow. You think you think old people aren't worth anything anymore, but how uh how scary is Brenda Fricker in that movie? So scary. Is there anything scarier than her in that movie? I don't understand how she did that Tim movie. Tim Curry in that movie. Tim Curry's not Yeah. Um Yeah, he's pretty scary. Now, you know what's scary? I'll tell you what's scary. Timeline-wise, the Wet Bandits have been in prison for about 12 months for home invasion and, like, trying to kill a child. They were put in prison for, they let's escaped, say, a don't they? year. There's, they're escapists. Yeah, they escape. They dig they out of the ground, remember? They escape from prison. They can't escape a 10-year-old child with paint cans <laughs> on strings, but they've escaped... <laughs> Well, that was the, the that, that was the they got sent to a prison run by devious <laughs> conniving little kids who just who it was it was just an open field with hanging paint cans suspended. It was like it was like uh, the open prisons of Siberia. It's actually really troubling the the two elder the elderly interventions in Home Alone one and two. I I refuse to acknowledge the existence of three and four. Uh, the the elderly elderly interventionists in one and two actually send a really confusing message mm -hmm. to America's kids, because what it says is, you know what we've been telling you about strangers, that's true, but if they look really creepy and are homeless, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. there's a chance that they might be cool and protect you and will only do so if you interact with them so maybe by interacting with strangers you're not putting yourself up for danger you're actually making an investment in your this, future safety. this is i think that had they gotten to the a third movie um they did with macaulay calkin oh. with macaulay calkin canonical third movie then the stranger he met would be like covered in blood and like wielding a knife but turns out he's just a butcher yeah because like in the first one he's not homeless he owns a home he's just a dude that like salts the sidewalk yeah and that's and everyone's like oh he's a murderer yeah because he's got a shovel and he's yeah. old kids great are cruel. job kids great are job, so cruel. chicago and you're 10 okay. years old and some sort of choice is presented to you where you have to choose between joe pesci or Brenda Fricker, and one of them's gonna murder you, and the other one is gonna provide you is gonna is gonna provide you sanctuary, and you have to make this choice between what, Pesci or Fricker. One of these is gonna murder. Which one? Which one would you choose? It would choose? obviously be Fricker. She she would eat you. Yeah, mm. no question about it. Now, how sweet would it be though, Travis? You know what you're suggesting about the old per the crazy old person turning out to be genuinely crazy. Mm. How sweet would it have been for Home Alone three? If the threat turns out to be so real that Macaulay Culkin has to team up with, I, what would they be at that? P the 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 slippery the bandits, moist, the, the moist, moist bandits, bandits oh, the tactile uh, bandits, the tacky bandits, the scratchy bandits, the goopy bandits, whatever they are, he has to team bandits. up with them to defeat this larger threat. Like I would watch the hell out of that movie. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And then they turn on each other, match. I think, but uh, they have guns this time. I think Home Alone Three is actually technically the last forty-five minutes of Skyfall. <laughs>